What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to the brand new 5.3 update and the robot Phantom with the best setup Halo and Corona, in my opinion. Starting with a speed comparison between Hellburner, Blitz Robot, Jumping Inquisitor behind us, and the Phantom. We're activating the ability, and let's go. Let's see who's faster. Okay, the Blitz Robot was a bit, a bit sleepy on the beginning, and now he's at the same speed as we are, similar. However, the Hellburner is faster, and the Invader, boom, just landed behind us, okay? He doesn't even jump as fast as we can run so the phantom is actually a super fast robot as well and it gets 50% damage resistance but before we go to this uh, and while we're watching this hellboner dance right there do you know this the brand new robot called leech that will enter the game sometime soon I would say within the next months uh, four medium weapons on that bad boy uh, I think this will be quite interesting, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, I have a lot of information for you guys about this robot. I'm gonna do, do this and give you the information in the next minutes, okay? Let's first explore a little bit of the Phantom robot here. 278,000 health. We get 50% damage resistance when we activate the portal and place the portal on the ground. That means you have a, a similar amount of tankiness like a Fenrir almost. Not quite, but almost as much. And that's why I would suggest you guys to run it with armor modules if you have a Phantom. And if you can do this, okay? Now, we're, we're placing the portal here. You see the glowing uh, glowing thing here on the ground? Only you can see that, right? The enemy will not know where you placed your portal. When you placed the portal and press the ability button for the first time, you run faster and you get 50% damage resistance. So you can run in and whoop, when you think, oh, that's too dangerous, you just teleport back to the position you just came from, right? So that's the Phantom Robot, and with a 50% damage resistance, this thing is actually quite a, quite a butt kicker, okay? This thing is really, really dangerous. We're running in, we're just killing this guy, and then we're killing the in Ares, and then we teleport back, and, <laughs> and then we die, because I teleported too late. I, I should have teleported sooner, and if you do this right, you will actually arrive safely where you came from, okay? So, um, that's the Blitz Robot, let's jump into the Invader, and while we're seeing some carnage, uh, taking place here, the new robot, Leech, uh, will be introduced in today's livestream from Pixonic themselves on their YouTube channel, okay? So, there's gonna be today a live stream. um, but I can already, so go ahead and check this out, guys, by the way, um, but I can already give you some early information right here as well about the upcoming Leech robot. Four medium weapons, if I've seen that correct, on this picture right here. If you take a look at, um, hold on, while we're having this go on right there. If you look at this picture, that's four times Huzar. So this robot will probably have like four medium weapons. So the next robot next to the Spectre with four medium weapons. And it has a similar low amount of HP like the Spectre has. Very low amount of HP with only 95,000 or 94,000 at level 8, I would assume. And 48 kph. So it's not the fastest robot and has a low amount of health. Uh, but it has an ability, of course, and with the ability it becomes truly powerful. The Leech Robot, it's a 10 second duration with a 20 second cooldown. So um, every 30 seconds you'll be able to activate that ability and it goes for 10 seconds completely. And what it does, it has, you basically stop taking damage almost. It absorbs 90% of damage coming in. It's like you have the, the resistance, you have more resistance than the Aoguang has. The Aoguang has only 80% damage resistance, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And the uh, Leech Robot will have 90% damage resistance. And here comes the tricky part. When you get damage during your 90% resistance, you can channel that damage to someone else in line of sight. So if you see someone over there and you have line of sight to this person within 600 meters, you'll be able to chain 50% of the incoming damage to the guy you're looking at, okay? So that's pretty sick, that means you can't shoot at this guy when he activates the ability. The leech robot, you cannot fire at him. If he activates the ability, someone of your team is gonna take massive damage for, for you shooting at him, right? And you will only do 10% of damage to him while he will reflect 50% of your damage to someone on the battlefield. And that's something you need to keep in mind when firing at a leech robot in the future. 
just don't stop, just, just don't fire, I mean, just stop firing and don't do it because someone is gonna suffer for it and chances are it's gonna be you because <laughs> he's probably gonna be looking at you at that point. So um, that's the leech robot, four medium weapons uh, and he gets a speed boost too. He gets a speed boost on top of the 90% damage resistance and the damage throwback against the enemy. The ability will, will be called Repulse, okay? Repulse, as in throwing back, right? And uh, and while throwing back, the damage he's get a, he gets a speed boost. How much speed boost is it? I don't, I don't see how much speed boost it is. I'm hoping it's not gonna be too much because 48 kph, as he normally has, is not bad. It's not super fast, but it's also not that bad. And, uh, and if he gets like a hundred percent speed boost, that would be ridiculous, okay? That would be just, that would be just plain and simple overpowered. And I'm hoping it will get like maybe 30%, maybe 40% tops. I'm hoping it doesn't, it's not too much speed boost because the ability itself is incredibly powerful. Even now, though he has only a low amount of health, when he only takes 10% of damage from what you do and he can throw 50% of that damage back to someone, that's really powerful. And the ability goes for 10 full seconds. Alright, thankfully a cooldown of 20 seconds and not like 15 or so like the Ares had. Uh, but still, um, I think this will be one of the toughest robots when it comes out. Uh, it will be a little bit similar to a Spectre, but uh, a Spectre can nowadays be countered much easily, as you see right here. <laughs> Perfect timing. Uh, the Spectre got countered no problem, uh, whereas the Leech Robot, it can't be countered. How do you counter something uh, that just, uh, you know, uh, absorbs all the damage you throw at it and then it, it, it throws it back at someone? The only thing is to, to not shoot at him while he does that, but he's got four medium weapons shooting you at the same time too, right? So, yeah. And of course, um, one thing you could do is like face shift uh, with, the, with the active module to avoid uh, the time where he has the ability, but uh, you can't really do anything other than just not shooting at him. He's pretty much invincible during the time of the ability activation. And just to show this one more time, guys, uh, this is how it will look like. Okay, this is uh, this is the robot. And um, Leech is the name, which is funny, because I actually, and that's something I wanted to tell you. But by the way, if you like this video, guys, okay, and you want to see more, you want to get more information, be notified about upcoming news, updates, videos, content, then hit subscribe on the channel if you haven't done that yet, guys. We're actually, uh, we, we just reached 180,000 subscribers. We're getting close to 200,000, guys, and uh, when we reach 200,000, I'm going to make some special thing happen. All right, so it would be cool if you guys could subscribe if you haven't done that yet. Teleport back, that's right. And, um, yeah, so the other thing I wanted to say... What is it? I wanted to say something. Oh, yeah, and I've made a video yesterday about the new Behemoth robot. If you haven't yet seen the Behemoth video, it's in the upper right corner for you guys. We were running it with four times glory. So pretty much this setup, but with, you know, a heavy energy shotgun glory four times on the Behemoth as a monstrous brawler. So, uh, yeah, once again, if you haven't yet seen that video, guys, it's in the upper right corner linked for you okay boom boom oh man i gotta go back and there i am back in safety did you see that behind the aries and behind the other aries and all that it's just so cool yo um and that that uh, i'm really looking forward to testing this um uh this this robot leech what's interesting that's what i want to tell you i was you know considering what was it that i wanted to say um the, the name Leech, I actually su suggested that name when I visited Pixonic at Moscow. Uh, when I, 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 I was suggesting some kind of corrosion squad, right? A corrosion robot squad that work with corrosion damage and they have corrosion damage abilities and they have amp they amplify corrosion weapons or so, right? To be more effective on them. And uh, that was my, and, and one of the robots I suggested had the name Leech. And it's awesome they chose to take that name. Uh, I might, maybe they had the idea before, but it's quite a coincidence and I'm really happy they you know took took this. And also interesting for you guys to know, uh, which you probably don't know, is that the uh, teleport ability is something that I also suggested when I visited them. Uh, Adrian and I, we were sitting with the design team on the table and I was bringing in my ideas that I've written down before I visited Pixonic. And one of my ideas was a high-tech robot squad, which is exactly what we're seeing right now. We're getting a high-tech phantom robot and the uh, and uh, uh, here with a teleport ability and the uh, and that was one word i used high tech squad and the other thing is 
I said that uh, we could make a portal. We could give a robot a portal similar to, to the portal gun of the actual game portal um, where you can place a portal on some position and then it just teleport back to it or something. And that's exactly what we see right here. And it makes me so happy because uh, it, it means that Pixonic has really listened. He, they, they were written writing down my suggestions and many of those suggestions actually made it into the game. It's like such an awesome thing uh, for me to see that uh, they took them seriously they, and, and they liked them and they brought them in. It's so amazing, man. Um, so once again, since this is kind of also a little bit of my creation, oh, well, I didn't create the robot obviously, but at least uh, the name was a bit, a bit with its theme was a bit of my idea. Uh, tell me what you think about the Phantom Robot. I'm really into this knowing, s I want to know what you think because it's, it's kind of a, a more special occasion this time as I as I was a little, I feel like I've been part of the development a little bit of that machine. So uh, if you could tell me what you think about this robot, I'd like it to hear that. And by the way, I think it's a very powerful hunter. Just in case you haven't see, haven't gotten that part yet from watching this video here, the Phantom is a really powerful hunter. You run in with like 500,000 health if you're fully maxed with armor modules. Uh, you can run in with like 500,000 health. You have tremendous amount of firepower tremendous amount of speed you take out two guys and then boop, you just teleport back and you're back to where you were before in safety and uh, and that's just so crazy dude um that you'll you'll see attack runs people activating the ability running on the beacon capturing the beacon and boop, teleporting back into safety you, do, you they don't have to die now after they've taken the middle the middle beacon on care on carrier for example right or on dead city you run in you capture the beacon boop, you teleport back out and uh, chances are due to your 50% damage resistance you have only taken a, a, a relatively low amount of damage from this here this was part of the uh, the very match that I just played and I thought I in I include the uh, <laughs> the healing no the the damage output from these four punishers I like the punishers on the specter but uh, unfortunately with a 10 second reload they're not competitive anymore which reminds me of the question like where is the update on the Punisher Pixonic weren't you testing and d didn't you want to make the uh, Punishers and Molots shorter reload what happened with that we really need this by the way the, the Punishers and Molots are so horribly wrong with the and such a horrible long what is going on on screen right now nobody is firing everybody's just sitting around like what's going on right here huh whoa Wow, did you see that out Chun man? He also has the teleport ability. Awesome. All right, let's get this guy. It must have been a lag or something. This guy just absolutely teleported away from us here. <laughs> oh, man. So, um, yeah. Once again, tell me what you think about the Phantom Robot, ladies and gents. It's so cool. And by the way, I'm also working on a lot of videos for the uh, for the Behemoth Robot. Because the new Behemoth has so many possibilities. Obviously, it's like it's meant to be a sniper, right? With four heavy weapons, having no sh no resistance, no shield, no stealth, no jump, nothing, just walking slowly. Obviously, it's meant to be a sniper for played from a distance. But in the video from yesterday, I played it as a brawler in ultra short range with four times glory, and it worked. It worked. It's not perfect, but it works really strongly sometimes. And uh, like I'm getting like a god like in five seconds or seven seconds where I just like kill everybody in like two or three shots. Even brawling against a traditionalist falcon or uh, an invader and Fenrir at the same time, where I ran right in between, and I just killed them both at the same time. That's something I've did in the video last that yesterday. So, uh, so if you haven't yet seen it, guys, in the upper right corner, it's that they're there for you. Uh, but I'm working on more videos where I bring this thing um, and try and uh, make it more a sniper, like the way you would probably play it if you see this role, if you have this robot, the Behemoth. We're running it with maybe with Avengers. Although that's once again that's more brawler than sniper, uh, and then we have it running with uh, dragoons in an upcoming video. We may even try out Sinitz again, fully max or something, or a Chimera. Wow, four times Chimera. That must be a sucker for the enemy. And um, yeah, so uh, lots of stuff coming up. Tried and also, and then of course testing it with Ansel Shield, uh, because in my opinion it may actually be the best thing to use is one Ansel Shield on it. But we're testing all this in the upcoming videos so um, if, once again if you have subscribed you get notified for all this stuff coming up soon for you guys wow he's activating the shield at uh, the face shift thing 
And uh, and now he's like teleported back to him. Not necessarily the smartest move to teleport next to a Hellburner, but I was counting on the fact that he has no idea where the heck I went. And it worked. You see this? I went up there, I teleported back behind him, and he had no idea where the heck I went. He was like, what? Huh? What? what heh? And, and uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much his reaction right there. This guy actually has one Noricum on it. Okay, that's not a serious build, it seems. Godlike, boom, boom, and teleporting next to where I was before. Look at this guy's like, what the flip is going on? Where are the guys disappearing to? And yep, now he's, oh, there you are. Now he found me. Like after like seven seconds of looking around, he finally found me again. <laughs> and uh, you, you'll be constantly running around with this thing, having the ability active all the freaking time. Because, you know, you get 50% damage resistance from that. So, obviously, that's what you want to do. You want to run this thing with... Um, you want to only attack the enemy while you have the ability running for the damage. And sometimes, you can just fool them by activating the teleport and landing behind them. Keep in mind, though, after your teleport, you will no longer have the 50% damage resistance. The damage resistance only t uh, runs during, your, during the time when you have not yet teleported. So the teleport ability, although can be used aggressively by attacking someone from behind, it's more more a thing that you use defensively in most situations, I would assume, right? So, uh, the Phantom dudes. What a crazy, crazy brawler. Bam, bam, bam. Nice, nice. I almost brought him down to last stand, Nevo. Uh, but not quite. And one thing you can also do, you can activate the ability up here. You jump down, you release someone's last stand, and then boop, you just teleport away. If the Ares would just, if, for example, use his shield and start to shoot at you, then you just, once again, you just teleport back into safety and he's, his shield is going to be wasted. Here, and you can also activate it above, and then when you want to, you can uh, teleport back up there. And that's the cool thing too, you can activate it on Yamantau, on the bridge, jump down, kill someone underneath the bridge, and then you just teleport back onto the bridge. This is so sick. It is so cool what possibilities you have with this. And uh, I really love the teleport ability. That's why I suggested the ability to teleport. Because I feel like the ability of teleportation is not overpowered at all. It's just a super awesome new way of playing with abilities and having something special, right? The 50% damage resistance may be a bit much, though, on the Phantom. I'm not quite sure, man. I feel like this thing is a bit too crazy as a brawler. It's like almost like an invader or like a, a Fen Fenrir or something. Um because of this 50% damage resistance. That just seems a bit much to me uh, since also the resistance goes for so long, right? Um, but when it comes to the pure teleportation, that's just such an amazing new thing for the game. And I like that. I like that they introduced this. Let's see, maybe we're gonna see some corrosion squad in the future. That would also be cool. Because right now corrosion weapons are really weak. People aren't really using them. The Viper is pretty much the only one you see. No one is using Sting ever. And uh, no one is really using Wasp either. Because, you know, they just don't do very well. Um, however, the uh, Viper does pretty good. Because it doesn't miss as many bullets as, for example, uh, the thing does here. What's it called? Uh, the Shredder? No. Uh, the Avenger. The Avenger is really good, but it misses most of its shots. The Viper has a much better accuracy it, it doesn't miss many shots at long range even and that's what makes the viper pretty good but the corrosion is really minimal so it's not really a big selling point the corrosion here and maybe a corrosion squad is what needs to happen <laughs> but for now we have a lot of uh, a lot of stuff right here did i forget something here 600 meters range is the ability on the leech so let's run in and beacon rush one last time here guys um and uh, have some fun. Boom, I'm running in uh, the, with the ability active, of course. You see that right here? Now I focus the Ares for a second because I want the Ares to activate his shield and then I teleport back. You see here, at the last possible second, hold on, here. At the last possible second, I activated the ability to jump back into safety. And with this, I just killed something. I don't know what it was, I killed something, I think. Then I almost killed the full Inquisitor, and then I brought down the Ares to really low low HP, and I made a shield activated, so I could now finish up the uh, the um, finish him off here the Ares. A last stand is not yet triggered. Uh, okay, 
We're still kicking here. Unfortunately, my last end just activated and I didn't understand that. Uh, but it's okay. We're back in safety and we can continue making kills with this teleportation. And you see how you can turn the battlefield upside down with this, um, <laughs> with this phantom robot, man. That's so sick. All right, so this, by the way, I think this is really the best phantom. Halo and Corona, huge amount of damage output and uh, the ability to lock your Ares enemies or whatever they are down and uh, and then having, you know, uh, energy shield bypass. That's pretty cool. So while we're having the speed comparison again, let me just say thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys. And until the next video comes out tomorrow, most likely. See you guys then. Bye-bye. Yo, that's the Leech robot. I just wanted to show it one more time. Um, looks pretty cool. Can't wait for the testing. There's gonna be a test session sometime soon coming up uh, where we will be able to test the Leech robot. Oh, and don't forget that you can also see the Leech. Uh, some additional information coming in from um, this uh, today from the official War Robots YouTube channel, right? Just keep that in mind, guys. And uh, see you then.